In question G, we have this alkyl halide reacted with sodium methoxide and heat. So you should recognize sodium methoxide as a strong base and strong nucleophile, which means it can do SN2 and E2 reactions. However, in the presence of heat, elimination is always going to be favored. So what's going to happen here is an E2 elimination process. If we look on this molecule, to do an E2 elimination we need beta hydrogen and we have beta hydrogen on this carbon and we also have, although it's not drawn in, a beta hydrogen on that carbon. Now by looking at this and seeing that we have this small base like sodium methoxide we should form the Zaitsev product as the major product and that would be elimination with this beta hydrogen to give the double bond here because that would be the more substituted double bond. You also need to recognize that in the C2 elimination, we need the hydrogen and the bromine to be antiperiplanar. And in the current conformation, they are not. So what we need to do is we need to rotate around these carbons, around this single bond, to get the hydrogen and the bromine antiperiplanar. The easiest way to do that is just to rotate around this bond to put the hydrogen into the plane so it's anti to the bromine. If we do that, now we have the H and the Br antiperiplanar. We have this methyl group still intact. And in doing that rotation, now we've put the ethyl group pointing up and the methyl group pointing back. Okay, now that they're anti, we can use the OCH3 minus as a base and we'll do the E2 elimination process. Okay, so we lose the H and the Br we form a double bond and we can see that the ethyl group and the methyl group are both pointing out. So that means in the product double bond the methyl and the ethyl group are pointing in the same direction. We also have this other methyl group to deal with and we can put it in right there. You don't have to draw it in but just recognize there's a hydrogen on that side of the double bond. And this is the major product, and you would also call this the Zaitsev product because you have the more substituted double bond. Now in this question, question H, the only difference is now we have a bulky base. So we can write K plus and O minus. So this is not good at substitution. It only works for elimination. And because it's bulky, it favors Hoffman elimination. So that means we get the less substituted double bond. So now we can turn to our beta hydrogen that are on this methyl group. So we'll just draw one of these in. And if we do the elimination with one of those beta hydrogen, Show the arrows like this. Okay, so we lost the H and the Br to form this double bond at that position. Now we still have this methyl group and the stereo center on this carbon atom. And again, no reaction occurred at this particular stereo center. So we need to leave the stereochemistry intact here. 
So this would be the major product for that reaction.